Do do do. Oh. Do 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 do. Take those. And those. In fact, I might as well take them all. Uh, books. 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 Give me all of the books. That should do. Nearly a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to All the Mods 8. Where, in the last episode, we made this. It actually, I didn't realize at the time, but it turned out fairly symmetrical. So it kind of does look a little bit like an engine. <laughs> I love it. With that power setup, we superseded this. We no longer need this setup up top. <laughs> because this is producing three times 5,600. 16,800 FE per tick. It sounds like a lot, but later we might need more. For now though, we have nearly 450 million stored FE, and we can store up to 2 billion quite easily. So I'm pretty alright with that. Also, we got a bunch of uh, things to unlock. Nice. I keep naturally wanting to go over to that, even though I can technically just open it from my inventory right there. So, with all these books now available to us... Ooh, actually, how full are we getting? Ah, we got heaps of storage. I want to get started on using this power to upgrade our enchantments to pretty much the best they can be. And I don't even have to go downstairs to do it. I can open up my crafting grid from here, and we can look up the enchantment extractor. So, we're going to need some plastic dry rubber. How do I get dry rubber? You put something in a latex processing unit. Latex bucket. Fluid encapsulator. And latex you get from a fluid extractor. An acacia log. Nice. So, we got a little bit of work to do. First off, let's go down the list of things that we need. We need plastic, which needs rubber, which needs uh, tiny dry rubber. Latex processing unit. That's one thing I can chuck over there. But we also need latex, which we get from a fluid encapsulator. So we'll put that over there. We need gears, coils, machine frames. <laughs> hey, we can make some gears. And we can make some coils. Tin. Hey, we even have tin. What do you know? A fluid encapsulator. Now this can be used to get ourselves some latex. And to do that, we're going to need the fluid extractor. Did I do it in the wrong order? I might have. Extractor just needs one of those, one of these, and a gold pressure plate. Nice. So, I believe what we can do... Oh, let's place this the right direction, or in a good spot. I believe what we can do there is put a block... Acacia? I've got some. A block of acacia in front of it... And it will slowly remove stuff from, uh, from this acacia. As you can see, it is doing it uh, very, very slowly. But we can provide some extra power because of this. I keep going to go to my crafting terminal down there. I don't need to. <laughs> so if I open up this, what we can do here is make ourselves some ender gates. And I'm going to need more of this. One of those. Two of those. Judy, shush. And three. You know what would be smart? Is to make ourselves a filter. Open that filter up. And... Hmm, also, this should be synchronized. Place that in there. Have it as a mod filter. And now, I can put that in there and... Whenever I click on that, it brings up only my power-related stuff. So we can do that for a couple of different uh, different things. But for now, that's really good. But what I want to do is make myself some cables. Twelve of those. Convert it into a bunch of those. A few hardened. And we'll go to blazing. Blazing should be more than enough for now. Yeah. Now with twelve of those hardened cables, I should be able to make myself... Hmm. Yeah, it's just because they've gained energy by being in my inventory. 
I need obsidian. That's easy enough. End portal. And we really need to put Step back on my boots. <laughs> and we have 64. Now, I can't, uh, I can't do the wireless here, but that's okay. Back home, we make this. And we now have 12 ender gates. Now the ender gates can gain access to our ender network. I believe just like this. Yeah, I just place it on there. And uh, it's getting access to our, our network just here. That's powering that up, which is going to make this go a little bit faster. Three at a time. Nice. But I feel like we can go a little bit faster than that. So if we go to industrial foregoing and we go speed. We want a speed upgrade. And how do I make this in a dissolution chamber? All the crafting today. <laughs> so a dissolution chamber, we also need plastic. Oh, interesting. So with latex, using the fluid extractor, tripled when powered, good to know. We can get ourselves latex like that, but to get a latex bucket we need the fluid encapsulator so how do we transport the latex between the two probably a fluid pipe let's see i do have a universal pipe here if i put that between the two grab myself one of those it's one transferring the energy across actually two will it transfer across the latex itself fluid no all right let's grab just a plain fluid pipe then hmm it won't connect. Wait. <laughs> Am I going about this the wrong way? It's definitely possible. I've made something that is from thermal expansion instead of this. Now, what does this do? How does that output that? So I want a latex processing unit. Let's try that instead. Hmm. We need to wait for this to reach a bucket worth. If that's the case, let's uh, let's try and speed things up a little bit. Cable. If I put that there and that there, does that charge the cable? Nah. It's right. We've got plenty of these ender gates. Let's just do that and that, and then they should be full. Starting to extract some latex. Can I now? In fact, I'm just going to put that away because it's the wrong machine. Get this latex processing unit. No. Dissolution chamber? What about a tank? There's all sorts of tanks that we could use. I think I like the mechanism ones though. Basic fluid tank. We will chuck that on top of here for now. And pipe? Yeah, basic mechanical pipe. Will that fill up stuff? No. What about this? Yeah. There we go. And we got a latex bucket. Ta-da. <laughs> right. So with a latex bucket, we can make the latex processing unit. Wonderful. The latex processing unit can now get the, uh, the latex from that. So let's do this. And instead put the latex processing units on top of here. Now that should start filling up with latex and also power. Oh, now there is a way to place these uh, automatically, but for now I'm just going to grab some manually. Acacia. There you go. Nom, 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 nom. Also, what do we get here? Refined storage. Filters. Cool. And mechanism tank. Let's also just... Uh, Put that tank there and grab the fluid out of it. Wonderful. Future bottle here. I may have uh, forgotten to press the record button, but to catch you up, basically I discovered that I needed water combined with the latex to be able to produce the plastic or the rubber. So that's what we're getting up to now. Let's take this jumbo tank, put it here and if we place that there and do this, that should start to fill with water. Now I actually have an upgrade here that I could use, so let's chuck that in there and it'll go a little bit faster. Yeah. Oh, we can go even better. Yeah. Look at it. 
that's a thousand buckets worth stored into this block. God, that's satisfying. <laughs> Ta da! So, after spending a little bit of time generating some plastic and placing down our dissolution chamber, we're nearly at the point. Okay, this is slowly, slowly getting through it. We need to set up some speed upgrades to make this a lot quicker. But I need to make an advanced machine frame, which requires a simple machine frame, which requires this pity one. Now I have the pity one. I need two lots of plastic. I need some nether bricks, a gold gear and iron. That's easy enough to get the gold gear and the iron. I have the iron. I have the gold gear. I can make the nether bricks, I believe, by cooking this. Yep. And I have what's needed here to make the plastic that I need. So we can put the gold gear there, two of those, two of those, that and that. Now, it also needs some latex. <laughs> so for the time being, we might stop that from gathering the latex, grab a couple of pipes, and hopefully that starts filling up with latex. It does. And the energy as well, because it's a universal one. Come on. <laughs> I'm working it out. It's amazing how many machines you have to make once you start aiming for something. Uh, we might need some acacia soon too. Once that hits 250, it should start to generate. It does. And with a few more seconds, we should have our next type of frame. Simple machine frame. But for the enchantment extractor, we need the advanced. So, oh, pink slime? Wait, where do we get pink slime from? A mob slaughter factory? Huh? Pink slime. <laughs> uh, are there pink slime somewhere? Pink slime bucket from industrial foregoing. You get pink slime from industrial foregoing from a mob slaughter factory. But what mob do I slaughter? <laughs> Hello? Pink slime. Hmm. Mixing machine outputs. Centrifuge. Pink slime comb. Do I need to set up productive bees for this? Pink slime bee? You need to give a slimy bee pink slime. Where do you get the pink slime? <laughs> oh, I'm confused. I might have to Google this one. Well, it looks like we need to make a slaughter factory. This is getting pretty full on. So I have the stuff that I need to make two more pieces of plastic, like so. Thank you. What else do we need? Two iron swords, two iron axes, a pity machine frame, and a gold gear. Right, so this <laughs> mob slaughter factory will turn, oh. Probably would have been good to use those, actually. Give it some power. And... When something comes nearby, or... Yeah. I think we need to put this near some creatures. Oh, shush. So the question is, can we set it up in here? Will it be close enough that it, uh, that it works? Let's just uh, rotate that around. I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I suppose like that and like that. Let's turn something on and see what happens. Oh, I should probably turn my pickup off as well. They may be dying too quickly. I need access to these guys. Oh, they seem to be close enough. Yeah. Oh, liquid meat. <laughs> How do I turn this? into pink slime now. Okay, we're making progress. Pink slime can be used as a machine output from the mob slaughter factory. But how do we turn the liquid meat? Oh, it's, it's creating pink slime. Okay, why has it seemed to have stopped though? 124, but it's definitely making more of this. Okay, so we are getting some. 
What is the difference? What makes one work and the other not? Is it just random chance, perhaps? I have the wiki open right now, and it says... The default working area is 1 by 3 by 1, so it's obviously within range just here, and it can be expanded with range add-ons. Mobs killed will produce 5 microbuckets worth of liquid meat, and 1 microbucket worth of pink slime per HP. You get more from uh, cows and pigs. Interesting. This is cool. Uh, don't know about the liquid meat, but... <laughs> What can liquid meat be used for? Liquid meat. Ugh. Uh, it can make buckets. <laughs> Gross. That's a little bit nasty. I apologize if this does make you a little bit uncomfortable. I understand if it does. So, can I grab... Okay, I don't want the liquid meat. Ugh. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> How do I get just the pink fluid out? Ah, I select that. Okay. If I have the pink selected, oh no, I don't want to do that. Ugh. Maybe if we do that. Uh, now. Maybe it's just because it's not enough of a bucket. Yeah, that would be it. Let's make another basic fluid tank. And... Let's try and grab hmm, with this. Also, I have so many of these built up right now. I should really think about just turning this on for a second. Just to uh, clear out the waste a little bit. But if we say had uh, pushing to the west and I put down this tank. <sighs> yes. Okay, okay, we're making progress. How much do we have in that tank? 700, nearly 900. And how much did we need to make this? 500. We've done it. We've done it. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's just uh, turn this off for now. So, to make this unit, if I put this on here, fluid pull from the top. Wait, no, this one, fluid pull from the top. Yeah, okay. So we've got the pink slime in there. Yeah, we'll just keep doing that. That's making plenty. Now, what else do we need? Plastic, diamond gear and gold and netherite scrap. I have some netherite scrap. I can make a diamond gear, grab some gold, do, do. Do, 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 turn this into plastic. Oh my God, I've nearly done it. I've nearly worked it out. <laughs> piece by piece, cook that up into plastic, put that in there, and we get an advanced machine frame in 10 seconds. Wait, oh, I need more power. There you go. Now do it. And yeah, now. I need one more piece of plastic and everything else is pretty much, pretty much ready to go. A gold gear, done. And one more piece of plastic, come on. <laughs> also, all of this can just go away, thank you. So, last piece of plastic, cook it up and we should be able to make ourselves an enchantment extractor. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> The reason why this is incredible is because now I can put it just here. Give it a little bit of power from our ender gate. And if I just grab some books, chuck that in there. This, for example, this has efficiency nine on it and unbreaking eight. If I put that in there, we get life mending. We get unusing. We get teleportation. Unbreaking eight. Nature's mend. There's that efficiency nine. Silk touch. And we get it back in its main form. But then I can put all of those in there. And now I can make an efficiency nine book. Whenever I like. 
not only that, say I want efficiency nine, silk touch, unbreaking eight. <laughs> Wait, that's unbreaking seven. Unbreaking eight. Look at that. I can make an incredible book. And then, uh, yeah, I should still have access to all of those things. Or did it get rid of it? Maybe I used up too much. It's all right, we'll put that back. Ah, if I used it all up, it gets rid of it. So we want to add a few extra things in there. What I can do now is I can take these enchantments off everything and basically rework my enchantments to be perfect. Like, literally perfect. I never have to worry about uh, sorting them out in a particular way anymore. We'll get sharpness as an option. What have I got on here? Unbreaking seven, may as well take those off as well. Life Mending three is a good one. Boon of the Earth four. And not only that, but I think I should be able to combine these things. Let's just put all of that away. But I think there should be a way for me to increase those as we go. But I've got 208 levels. So what I can do now, right? I need some lapis. Why do I only have six lapis? Huh. That's fine. But I could do this and just generate a bunch of different uh, enchantments until I get lucky and find one that, say, has uh, efficiency 10 on it. And we're set. So... Let's see. Uh, this one has efficiency seven. <laughs> we'll just uh, take the books and get that efficiency seven so that we have more in the bank. Now, I think there's probably a way for me to just automatically sort these books over into my uh, library of Alexandria. But for now, just manually doing it is fine. And what I want to do is build up enough so that I can make... Oh, next level is not available. So I can make an efficiency, but I still have points stored so I don't lose it. Now I'm going to assume that uh, if I did this, for example, like that, and got rid of efficiency, if I put an efficiency one back in, yes, my max level is still nine. So that's good. We don't lose the max level that we attained at any point, which is nice. Now, um... This now basically becomes a game of luck. I just keep keep doing these enchantments. I've got the mob farm down below to get me, uh, honestly, as much experience as I need. We just, uh, we can extract our enchantments off all sorts of things. In fact, I've got a couple down here that I wanted to grab off. I wanted the protection five. This one has stable footing and all of that jazz. And there was more too like what am i wearing one of these that has mana regen and mana boost one of these this one mana boost seven and mana regen plus protection seven so if i strip the enchantments off this i can put that mana boost on everything that i own like this protection seven <laughs> life bending three unusing mana regen seven and mana boost seven Put those in there and now mana boost and mana regen can be made up to level seven. Oh my goodness this is amazing and the reason i wanted to get all of this done is so that when we get to the point where we want to get all the modium armor which is indestructible we can kit it out with some of the best <laughs> best protection and best enchantments i can think of so we won't have to worry about the unbreaking but we can add to our very, very special armor things like mana boost, mana regen, protection seven on all of it. We can add reach, even though we only have one. Basically, what I'm saying is we're going to be pretty strong. <laughs> but I think with that, we're going to leave it there. I did a bit of work with the industrial foregoing and managed to work out how to make eventually an enchantment extractor. It does take a little bit of work, but it wasn't too bad. We managed it in one episode. And now we have access to some of the coolest enchantments I can think of. We're very quickly going to become very, very strong. And once we set ourselves up with the apotheosis, gaining the extra uh, orange unique stuff off of this, 
and maybe putting that on our older modium stuff, things get interesting. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy a look into some more serious enchanting. We're going to need some more lappers for sure. Um, anything good? Nah, I'm after that efficiency 10. <laughs> But that's for another time. So I would like to thank my Patreon supporters for your continued support. You folks are amazing. And I genuinely do appreciate your, uh, your support over there. And I hope you've all been enjoying this series. So until the next one, I hope you all take care of yourselves. And I'll see you then. Get jumpers and... Uh, whoop!